Tessellation. Tess tessellations are patterns resulting from arranging or tiling shapes without any gaps. That's the secret. No gaps in between. They can be made by positioning the same shape with one of these three operations. So sliding, rotating, or flipping. Reflection. Choose one of the three options below. To create your own tessellation, if you choose to create yours online or on paper, don't forget to send your teacher the photo through Dojo or attach it here, however you can. Okay? One, the online tessellation creator. So you click on that, I guess. So I can hold down control, click. No. There it is. Just hold down control, just click it. Good morning, stage two. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the online tessellation creator. So first things first, to get to this page, you can either click the image um, from your slides and follow the link, or if you're an offline student, you can just type in tessellation creator onto Google and this will pop up for you. So we'll start with our shapes along the top. So we've got all different shapes um, and the number in the middle means the number of sides each shape has. So that will be useful when you're actually creating your pattern. Down the side here, we have our rubber tool, our rotator tool, our zoom in, zoom out, duplicate. Um, so it's like a separate into pieces, a color tool and a sweep tool. So I'll just put a few shapes on the board and show you how these work. So the first thing is the rubber tool. So if there's any shape that you accidentally put on your page and you want to get rid of it, click the rubber tool, click on the shape, and then that will disappear for you. If you want to turn the rubber off, just click on a blank space and it will disappear as well. This little rotator tool, so if you decide that your shape, um, you want it to be on an angle, you can just click on the rotator, then click on the shape, however many times until it rotates to the position you like it, and then again, click off into a blank space. Now the zoom in and zoom out function, um, you can't really zoom into a shape, it's more so your screen. So if you zoom in, it makes your shape bigger. If you zoom out, it makes your shape smaller. Um, I recommend keeping it zoomed in quite a bit. Um, otherwise it will take you a long time to fill up your page. This one down here is our duplicator or our copy and paste. So we click on this and then click on the shape you would like to copy and then it makes several of them and then you can move them around and that just makes sure that they are the same shape and size. Now this one here is supposed to break them into pieces. Um, if you can work it out let me know. It doesn't work for me though. Um, all it does really is just bring that shape to the front. So if you click on it, it'll bring it forward. Again, click off. Um, and then if you're wanting to go for, yeah, I'll rub this out, say just a hexagon sort of pattern, you can change the colour of some of them by putting the colour onto your paintbrush and then painting the ones you'd like to change. Um, if you'd want a rainbow tessellation, you could do that as well. Just keep in mind though, you are limited to these colours. And last is this sweep function down the bottom. So this sweep function will get rid of all of your shapes so you can start fresh. Um, if you do click this accidentally, there is no way to get, get it all back. So just be careful when doing that. Now to, now to create your actual tessellation, you need to choose some shapes that will match up nicely. Um, I'm going to use hexagons and I'm going to use some squares as well. So I'm going to start with my hexagon just in the middle so I can work around it and then you just find a spot that your square will fit in nicely. Again, I'm just going to use oh, this tool here and then just fitting my squares in. I might drag this hexagon over to here. Now if I was to do this though, like these fit nicely together but then it leaves a gap here. So in this instance, there's no shape that's going to fit in this space. So what we would need to do is rub out the squares and maybe find a better suited shape. So with, so maybe you could create like a, um, a beehive honeycomb type thing by just having hexagons. And the good thing about the online tessellator is the shapes snap into their position. So you don't have to feel too much trying to get it in the right spot. Um, if you just have a roundabout, let go, um, it will fit to the correct spot. Makes it quite easy. Um, let's just sweep that off. 
Another thing you might want to do is uh, triangle ones. I'm just going to put those in a line there. Then for this one, I'm just going to rotate it. So it's facing upwards. I'm also going to change the color to white. Oh, actually, maybe blue. And then pick that off, drag those in there, and then we'll get that duplicator again to fill in the spots. And you just keep going. So I want my green one again, duplicate a couple of times, put those here. And then you go again and do your blue one. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Now the instructions do say uh, that you need to fill up your page. So the um, it should fill up the whole page like these ones here. Good luck. Um, the Google Slides Shape Tool up here. Or draw it on paper. And these are examples of the tessellation. Um, so yeah, it should be easy. It should be fun. I like tessellation. It's a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing the results. Have fun.